We are very fortunate today to continue our growth and expansion and our modernization of the CFM program. Uh, we appreciate Zacoa's help in modernizing some of our equipment earlier. And now today we're going to modernize even further by partnering with UNB in acquiring a 3D metal powder bed laser printer. It's a GE machine, the M2. It'll have a 400 watt laser and a 25 cubic centimeter build volume. I'm very pleased to announce that the Government of Canada, through ACOA's Atlantic Innovation Fund, is investing $5 million in UMB's Marine Additive Manufacturing Center of Excellence to help revolutionize the marine industry in Atlantic Canada. You know, this will create jobs, employ people, and keep Atlantic Canada certainly on the forefront of uh, emerging technologies. We look forward to helping the marine industry advance into this, as well as all other industries in Atlantic Canada, as we develop the workforce, the intellectual property, the research and development, and especially the commercialization. This technology will allow us to service globally aerospace, defense, automotive, medical, international, or satellites. I think it's a great opportunity for uh, Atlantic Canada uh, really moving things forward with technology, sort of bringing a new life, uh, new passion into the province, I, I believe is a great opportunity. I would like to thank the entire team at ACOA and NDIF for listening to our ideas and believing in our vision. On behalf of Jay Irving, CFN, Irving Shipbuilding, we are delighted to be the commercialization partners for this very exciting initiative as great ideas need a place to practice. We look forward to working closely with UNB and the community colleges in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia to provide a hands-on training grant for the next generation of workers in the advanced manufacturing industry.